Hello YouTube! In today's video, I'm going to be covering over the interworkings of my stream as to how I have my splits being displayed on the right hand side of the screen and update as I push buttons showcasing my splits in an HTML document where I can implement custom CSS. So to make this work, uh, one of the first things that you will need to install is Live Split Server. I will have a link down in the description, but pretty much all you got to do is just click on your releases over here and you're able to download the zip file and extract it wherever you can access it within Live Split. Afterwards, we'll have Live Split open. And what we'll do is we'll be able to edit the layout. We'll see edit layout right here. And the thing that you're going to do is add control because that's essentially what that is. Live split server is a control. So once you have that set up, you'll be granted an, uh, a, a local IP. And in which case, uh, you'll be able to just like um, set up an is initiate connection to be able to just set up your local IP and just uh, ha have it. Uh, essentially, what's being done here is a socket in C sharp. It's, it's very simple. Uh, process here so we execute the code here and through all of this uh, we have all the various different functions I also made a uh, Excel sheet where I list a, a all of the possible uh, functions that are available so the thing is after you have everything properly connected and everything uh, you want to be able to call those methods so we have this big unga bunga crazy uh, long code here. That's just pretty much a whole bunch of different methods which just calls information to the live split server itself and sends a request to get possible best time, uh, for example, or get split index, which can be very useful for situational instances. Uh, for example, say you want something special to happen when there is uh, currently no run starting, but when you start a run, you have it, for example, do like a nice little banner. You can have it say like run start and comes across the screen. Before you even have anything set up as well, once you have a uh, live split server installed right there, uh, what you got to do is make sure you go into control and you want to make sure that your server is started. And so now that's when the magic happens, when you call uh, instances from streamer bot. So from here, I have a hotkey Alt F13 to uh, essentially update HTML or undo. So for example, uh, I can have something uh, from my controller actually. I use ReWASD where I ha program these hotkeys in the secondary buttons on my controller. So when the timer is not running, I can make it go, uh, I can make it have a overlay bar which shows up right above there. So that happens every time I uh, push that button actually when live splits not running so I could spam it even if I wanted to and That's pretty much just a custom HTML document that just slides across the top and it's pretty straightforward And I also have something for whenever I reset. So for example, if I start a run right now uh, whenever I reset uh, it calls through this uh, action right here where it resets the run it runs the specific method so right here in streamer bot it executes that method from it gets it from the speedrun server methods which is from the action i've explained earlier where it's got the whole resource of all of them and then it just selects the reset one and you can see here it, they're sorted by actions they're sorted by return values so it's very nice uh, and uh, organized terms of what you want to be able to do and uh, you can just leave uh, them as defaults here and you can notice that my timer is going on the bottom right right now and when I press reset run it resets and then it was fun while it lasted. you have an overlay that comes up at top in which case this is the effect action as I call it so while I'm here uh, we can go to the reset run HTML over here and it updates the filler text. Uh, so it has a uh, variable. So if you guys want to have dynamic HTML uh, with uh, variables and whatnot, all you have to do is set arguments and then you can just write to HTML. I know this is very way too dank possibly right now, but all you have to do is just have this HTML document uh, 
all this uh, default text right here, all of this, all of this is programmed uh, accordingly with also custom classes as well uh, to implement uh, custom CSS. But right here is where it happens. We have our filler text. That's pretty much uh, all in regards to that specific instance of that. But you can apply all these different effects to any action or method that you can find through um, the Live Split server. But we could take it a step further than just random different effects every time we call an action. We have actually, whenever we split a run, we want to make sure, uh, since I must disclaim, uh, StreamerBot and LiveSplit server do have a tendency to crash from time to time. It depends on the instance, but if you guys know how to fix any sort of situation wherever the LiveSplit server may crash, let me know in the comments. But a simple way to fix that is just to restart the server by stopping and then starting it again. Moving on here for the splits. So, if the current timer phase is not running, then we stop. We don't want to... We want to make sure that we are running. Uh, otherwise, uh, Streamerbot will try to uh, split when there's n when the timer is not even going. In which case, that will actually result in a crash. Uh, we want to make sure that we have a failsafe. So when we have uh, the effect split right here, uh, we get the split index. And if it's less than one, then we'll do nothing because if we're running right now, because uh, we have start or split. Uh, we get the previous split name because how can we get the previous split name if we're, if we're on the first split? You know what I mean? So it's important to get the uh, previous one without getting like the uh, a null value. Otherwise, that will result in a crash for live split server. If I were to split... Uh, so just to provide you with a, a general example here. So uh, I have the auto splitter running. And it's it's doing its own business. Your game may not have auto splitter, so you can actually have it so that you could split manually. So say I have just split, and I can say that my one one is now at a one minute and nine seconds. So I push this simple button on my controller. So essentially, it's just my hotkey, and every time I press it, it gets the last split. But you see, I have a whole bunch of one ones. I don't want a whole bunch of one ones. So all I got to do is just undo split and it just, it doesn't necessarily undo the splits on my timer, but just specifically what's being displayed. I just hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you're interested in terms of how to make uh, like the splits themselves, uh, as you see, like customized to various CSS situations or give them certain classes, let me know. Let me know uh, down in the comment, like the video or whatever, make sure to subscribe. And uh, yeah, I'll definitely uh, consider making more streamer bot uh, content in the future. Uh, but yeah, all the best, y'all. And you know, as always, peas and carrots to ya.